August 24th. Had a day. I had a talk with my mom, confronted her about behavior that I am afraid of and worried about. And made a request or an appeal and for her to do something that I will not disclose. But yeah, didn't go well. Didn't really go well. I'm talking about a lot of stuff, but Well, let's keep his focus to me. I'm proud that I did it. I'm proud that I stood up for myself and others. I'm proud that I handled it as well as I did. I'm proud that I kept focus on my goal. I'm proud that I asked questions and tried to get her perspective even though the perspective was one that is growing more weary, worrisome, but can't make people, I can't, that's not in my control. So it is nothing to me. I did what I did, I said what I said. I'm proud that I confronted her about something that she did that I lost a lot of respect for her. And I didn't think I was ever going to do that, or at least never really thought about it. Yeah. I'm uh, proud I did it though. And I'm also proud that. I mean, I was up all night, couldn't sleep because I knew I was doing this talk. And in the morning, it was eating me up and I set my boundaries. I reaffirmed, refocused on my goals, my to-do list, and I had a fucking great day. Didn't think about it very much. And did what I needed to, I had a good day. And I think that carried over into the conversation in my confidence going into it. Keep trying to change myself with quotes and information and feels, but really I think my ability to trust myself, my warrior mentality, getting stronger and being able to trust the king, the decision maker, or some something like that. Like I'm able to trust myself more and confidence is just that. Fide, fidere. It's faith or trust. Trust with con. And the more I'm able to trust my discipline and my decision making, just the more naturally confident I feel. And it's because I made a commitment to all this stuff and I did them. And it's so simple. We have multiple relationships with ourselves, mind, body, spirit, and I still know what to call the fourth one, order, let's say. And 
how they interact with each other, those different conflicting sometimes aspects. If they're all on the same page, all working in harmony, integrated, in alignment, I feel whole. And I feel more whole than I have in a long time. Daily Stoic today is it is in your self-interest. It says that is there any less tech any less effective technique uh, to sway persuade somebody than haranguing them to do something? Um that is why Stoics do not say, stop doing this. This is a sin. They say, stop doing this. It's making you miserable. They don't say, this isn't pleasurable. They say, too much pleasure, or if you overwhelm yourself with pleasure, it will become punishment. I'll make sure I get that right. I'll do it because it will make you miserable. That's good. Endless pleasure becomes its own punishment. Um. Fuck. And it. Uh, then it brings up 48 laws of power, and which one of the laws is appeal to a person's self-interest, not their mercy or gratitude. Never. So if you want to try to persuade somebody or change or or do something differently okay self interest is an effect of lever pull of the lever It's not that it's bad, it's just in their best self-interest. So pull a lever. It has its own incentive to do things differently. For it comes out of a hat. For it comes out of a hat and stabs. Right, work on that one. And that's where I'm going to leave it.